my channel so in today's video I'm showing you how I get my loose curls currently they've just been done so they look a little bit more tighter than how I normally go this is how I do my kind of loose everyday curls if you are new here it means so much for me if you could subscribe down below but if you do want to see how I curl my hair just keep on watching so this is my hair before curling it so it's looking a little bit frizzy at the moment because I had it in a bun earlier um so the front pieces in that I haven't straightened it or anything, so it's just kind of my natural hair. The curler that I use is this one by Ellie Hot. I don't know what it is. I just got it off Amazon. Um, it comes with, I think, five other barrels or four other barrels. I'll link it down below. It was only about £20 or something, really cheap. And I've had this for, like, over a year, and it works as well as any other kind of more expensive brand does. So I would definitely recommend it. I know it's quite high temperature. I use 200 on my hair because my hair is quite thick um, and I find that kind of last but I don't want to do it too hot any hotter on my hair because I don't want it to burn my hair off um, but I do use heat protectant beforehand and I do use a couple products which I will show you as well so before anything I'll just brush through my hair just to make sure it's all smooth and there's no kind of knots or anything I'll then apply some heat protectant really good to use heat protectant i must admit i never used to use heat protectant like a couple years ago but since having my hair bleached quite a lot i now use it like religiously every single time i choose heat on my hair um i always use heat protectant so i use this tresemme heat defense spray care and protect spray this all over my hair Let's comb that through just so it's evenly spread through my hair so as you can see, I've just split my hair into like two sections each side of my head. Um, sometimes, depends what kind of curl you like to go for. I like to go for like a really loose wave. Um, I kind of let it tighter at the beginning, but it kind of drops out quite quickly. But I don't go into sections and stuff. I used to like separate my hair and stuff, but I literally just do it all down, all in one bit. And I just do kind of like mid medium sections. I do all of the curls the same way. Some people like to do them set opposite ways. Um, Sometimes give it a little bit more of a natural look doing that way, but I like to just, the way I do it is just literally just doing it all the same way. Really, really simple, um, but I'm going to show you now how I do it. So as I said, I always turn the the curler up to 200 degrees. And it doesn't really matter what side you start on, um, but I normally take about, roughly, it depends, it kind of changes. Roughly about that much hair, maybe a little bit thicker, um, just a small amount. Just kind of a medium amount of hair. I don't want it to be too small because, as I said, I like quite loose waves. But I don't want it too big because then it doesn't kind of curl it enough. So when I curl my hair, I don't start from right at the top. I start from about halfway down. And then curl round. And I always leave some hair out at the bottom. Just a nice straight bit, which gives it a much more natural look. And I leave it on there for about 10 seconds. And I just let it drop and it gives that kind of look there. I'll just repeat that again. Some of them turn out better than others, but it doesn't really matter to me because I'm not going for a perfect look. Halfway down and then leaving some hair out at the end. And again, just dropping it out like that down, curling it round and then leaving some hair out and leaving that on for 10 seconds. What I used to do is I used to do it from the top but to give that more natural look I literally just do it from halfway down until it's like the end of the hair is curled. So I'm going to do the rest of this side and then I'll show you how I just do the like little front pieces as well because as you can see my front pieces are a little bit smaller than the other parts. <laughs> I don't like to curl it too much because I want it to just be like a slight wave but just kind of 
so it sits nicely with the rest of the hair. So I only get a literal tiny bit at the front. I mean, it depends how much hair you want to put with it, but I literally put like a tiny bit. And then literally going from the top and tiny bit around and then drop it. Like literally for like, that looks really weird. <laughs> um, it normally goes a bit better than that, but literally for about two seconds. That looks, obviously right now it looks a bit crazy, but when we brush out, it will look better. So I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll come back to you when I brush them. So I've finished both sides. As I said, I look a little bit crazy right now. We're gonna start by combing out this side. Sometimes when I first comb them out, they don't give me the exact look I want, but throughout the day, they slowly, slowly drop. So I just like to use a wide tooth comb. Um, you can get these from anywhere like Boots and Superdrug and just gently comb through all the curls. And that's the kind of look you get right now. They're still looking a little bit bouncy where I've just brushed them out. But as I said, they drop out throughout the day and then you get this nice lo loose looking look. Now, I just literally do that, comb through them and then I apply some of this oil. Um, I got this one because you can use this on dry hair. So this one is the Aussie 3 Miracle Oil Smooth Lightweight Treatment. Um, and I literally just do about two to three pumps of this because I don't want to use too much as it is on my dry hair. Rub this into where my fingers are and into my hands and literally just like comb through with my fingers. It kind of obviously moisturises the hair a bit and also gives a little bit of texture as well to the curls. A little, a little bit through my front pieces but not too much because I don't want them to look too oily. And then it just really makes a difference I think. I mean it may not look like it on camera but it literally makes such a difference. Just loosens them all out a bit and yeah. today's video let me know any videos you'd like to see down below and i will just see you next sunday for a new video bye